when our first baby was born, we just did what everyone else was doing. Obviously, it got her immunized uh, with all the shots up to 12 months until our second child was born. Was born, and um, but then someone suggested to me that I should check it out first on the internet, get more information. So we did and found out it's not all that good and positive. It could cause a lot of problems. And at the same time, I saw some actually news on the TV that some children got um, um, totally disabled by immunization. From being born a perfect child, perfect baby, and, uh, became autistic and uh, it's ruined their life, it ruined their parents' life and ruined, ruined their life till the end. And actually after, uh, few years later I actually met some people who's got children like that. So it's completely shocking to me. So, and my first child, uh, when she was after the 18 months uh, immunization injection, we noticed within a couple of years that she stopped growing and developing. And um, after doing some research, we worked it out that it could go back to immunization of uh, um, MMR shot that she had at 18 months and um, it stopped her developing. Probably for a couple of years, she didn't put any weight whatsoever. She was off the charts completely, and she didn't have any, any reason, any health problems, or anything like this to put it to, but the immunization, the um, MMR, MMR shot. So was, of course, we stopped immunizing children after that, and we had um, six children, and none of them immunized, no healthy and beautiful children. Yeah, everything's, uh, so you're, things going So you're, you're definitely against mandatory forced uh, inoculation, vaccination. That's right, yes. It would be shocking if they did that because personally I met people and I've seen a few uh, reports on the TV that showing the babies that have been completely, their lives destroyed by immunization. You know, I was talking to a lady before and um, her daughter, I believe, was five years of age and they wouldn't allow the daughter to go into a particular school because it hadn't had the vaccinations. And, and she said, why? And they, and they said, well, because she could give our children disease. And she said, well, how could my child give all the other disease when all, the, all of the others have, have been vaccinated? If mine is not the one that's vaccinated, how, how, can, my, how can my little girl cause any damage to the rest of the school? They still that makes sense. Yeah, they still, because they want to control. They want a total control. But I agree with you. They don't have the right to stick a needle in your child or my child uh, without, without my consent, without your consent. Yeah, I think it should be totally free. People should be educated. They shouldn't just take whatever side uh, without any research or any thought to it. They should think about it. Have a look at different yes and no's and positive and negatives and make their conscious decision. Uh, but they obviously need to be offered that uh, information freely, not just you have to go and search it yourself and try to figure it out. But the doctors, they'll push you to, do, to vaccinate the children. And unless I educated myself and I went to talk to the doctor, I wouldn't have a chance to argue with him. Well, my, my, one of my daughters, she goes to a doctor the, uh, a couple of weeks ago. Yep. She said that the doctor almost forced her to take the vaccination for cervical cancer. And she said, no, I don't want it. So how can they do that? That apparently is in the program now, right now, that all of the doctors have been instructed by somebody to give all of the young people this um, needle vaccination for cervical cancer. What do you think of that? Uh, yes, I know that. And plus, I just, I've got some children in school, grades 8 and 10, and they brought home all the um, uh, like instructions or... Um, applications to have been vaccinated with the chicken pox, with uh, about three or four different uh, types of diseases to have vaccinations done. I put no on to all of them, should send it back to the cancer. Well, I was talking to a lady before, and she'd got four children. None of them have been vaccinated for anything. None of them have had a day in a, doc in a doctor or a dental surgery. None of them. And they're perfectly healthy. And they've had absolutely no vaccinations at all but you know she kept, she told me something you can demand to ask what's in that fluid that they're injecting to you and by law they've got to tell you but they won't tell you so we're talking about chemicals that they're going to inject into you 
uh, that they won't tell you what it is. Yeah, there what are some think? heavy metals. Yeah, I read about it. There are some. Um, uh, yeah, predominantly that could be a problem. Odd uh, animal products and. Um, um, Another thing I remember seeing on the TV, one of the doctors said, it's like a time bomb. It, it reduces your immune system, the uh, strength of your immune system, and you're actually more prone to get sick being vaccinated than not being vaccinated. Plus, my um, sister-in-law, uh, she's got a little daughter, and she was vaccinated with um, uh, German measles. Mm. Yeah, German measles, yeah. And uh, probably three weeks later, she got sick. And all the, obviously they come up with excuse, so she could have been sick worse if she wasn't vaccinated. But what's use of this vaccination if the ch child still gets sick? So it was useless to her. Well, I'm going to say congratulations. You've, had a, you've got a beautiful little baby that's going to come soon. You've got a beautiful family. And it's great to meet people that are awake up to what the government's doing. Good luck to you. Thank God you very bless. much. Thank you for your work. Well, I was drinking the water just from the taps around here. You know, I come out of surf mostly. You just got kind of thirsty hours, drink the water. Never really felt 100% from it kind of thing. Like, never sort of satisfied me. Always felt just a bit seedy, not feeling great, you know what I mean? Um, you know, you drink it from the taps and stuff. It's like, oh, yeah, I think I'm doing good. I'm dehydrated. But really, it doesn't do you any justice, you know what I mean? So it's better off getting, you know, a proper water fountain with a filter in it and, you know, trying to make it a bit more better. They're putting fluoride in the water and stuff. Got Adam. Yeah, it's good to see you. I knew your dad. Yeah. Uh, you've been here all your life. Yeah, I grew up here, raised here, born in Southport. This is uh, Adam Nielsen of the Nielsen Brothers, and um, he's got a little shop here. And uh, you told me that you're against uh, the government forcing fluoride on people. Yeah, well, I had a New South Wales water for a while, and it shouldn't be the best thing to you know, force them to drink something if they haven't got the choice to you know, say yes or no to. Yeah. So you don't agree with the with uh, the way the Labor government just forced it onto the people. No, it's not point. right, you know what I mean? Not to force something into someone's body if they don't want to take it, you know what I mean? Well, you don't know what the outcomes could yeah. be for people like that. Adam, what do you think about them going to put in recycled sewage if we don't like it or not? It doesn't matter. What do you think of them going to do that? If I do, they'll have, like, have to vote about something like that, you know what I mean? Like the yeah. council around here, like, it's like putting more parking meters around Burley Heads here, you know? Like, who's going to want to, you know, put their hand up to do that, you know? So. All we can think about doing is to get some independence in, isn't it? We can't vote for Labor or Liberal because they're going to bring it in. Yeah. And if we get some independence in, maybe we can get the balance of power. What do you think, Adam? Yeah, maybe we can sort things out properly and make things right around here and make sure everyone has a healthy and happy life, you know, to live. Because, yeah. you know, we're all not going to live forever, but we want to live as long as we can and be as healthy and happy as we can for a while. And what's your attitude? What are you, what's your thoughts about vaccination, forced vaccination? Forced vaccination. About forcing someone to get vaccinated, it's a bit of a harsh thing, you know what I mean? Like, people are going to have choices in life, you know, you can't just go around saying, you got to do this, you got to do that, or else it's going to become a third world country almost, isn't it? Hey, China. You know? Yeah, it's just going to become like China, or Bali, or, you know, wherever pretty much. So, really, it's got to, you know, think about what the people have to say first about everything, you know? You can't just jump to one conclusion and think that's the right thing for everyone, because, you know, we're all equals here and everyone's different. Government's changing, they don't care about the people anymore, yeah, do they? Yeah, not they really, not worrying about what people have to say or do or how it affects other people's lives and stuff. Like, you know, all of a sudden we're in recession. Six months ago we weren't in recession, but now we are. So, you know, it's what the world's changing. And then, you know, the only way we're going to stop it is people put their hand up and, you know, do something about it. Yeah, well, Adam's family are very famous. Yeah, been, yeah. I mean, he's got a very famous family. They've been here in business here for, well, 40 years that I know of. No, would that be right? Oh, 50, 50 something years? years? Yeah, yeah well, 50 years. Like, I just got my lifeguard certificate the other day, and I'm the only person in Australia to be a third generation lifeguard. Is that right? Yeah, third yeah. generation. Like, my dad's dad, my dad, and me, so it's pretty good, you know. It's good that I've met you again. Yeah, same with you, no worries, mate. I think you're going to vote for me, that's yeah, great. Yeah, for sure, mate. No worries. <laughs> Thanks, Adam.